Hey guys, well, we are out here with the first look for my IWI Galil Ace 2 in 762 by 39. Now, if you guys are interested in the optic on here, we do have a video on that. I'll put a card up here and a link in the description below. This is a primary arms one to eight power. It is a very nice scope. I am very happy to have this with this rifle because they work well together. Now we're out here at 50 yards. I have, oh, 10 or so rounds in here loaded up. Let's go and shoot, shall we? Now I will tell you guys that this does not have a bolt hold on it since it is a Galil in AK style. So you're not gonna have any way to lock this back using the magazine. That isn't a bad thing, but I do wanna go and show you guys the difference between the Galil and the AK-47. Let's get to that. Now, the first thing that you're gonna notice between the AK and the Galil is the charging handles are on opposite sides. With the Galil, you have it on the left side and this is a reciprocating charging handle, you will notice that it does have a dust cover that moves here, while the AK does not have that. The other thing is, is that this is designed out of the box to be ready for you to add all of your accessories. It comes with this Midwest Industries rail, it comes with a rail on the top. Well, your AK, we have to go and have some kind of mount on the side of it. And yes, there are AKs out there that do have rails and, and you can get more parts for that, but this out of the box is more similar to the AR in how it's set up for your accessories than this one is. Now, I really do love IWI products. I think they shoot very well and I think that they are a better hybridization of the AK and the AR than anything else on the market. It really gives you the ability to have a more similar pattern to the AK, since this is patterned off the AK, than you would ever see in something like the CMMG MK47 Mutant. That is just an AR that runs the 55 or the 7.62x39 magazines. This is a better platform for that. It does have the recoil system of the AK, not the AR. So you're not running a gas block and you're not running all of that. You're running a piston in this gun. Now, I will tell you guys that this is a 13 and a half inch barrel versus what you're looking at, which is the 16 and a half inch barrel. The barrel lengths obviously are different. So this is a pistol. While that isn't anything to write home about, I wanted the pistol because I figured, oh, it's gonna be a little bit lighter weight than the 16 and a half inch model of this rifle. Well, I was wrong. Both guns come in with this optic at nine and a half pounds. This is a chunky heavy boy, but if you're okay with that, this is something worth checking out. Now we're gonna go and do a mag dump with this gun, and then we're gonna go and put a few more rounds through the AK so you guys can do a side by side or a top and bottom comparison of the two. Let's get to that. Now, this gun does have some controllability issues, something that can be easily changed out by just changing the muzzle device. I really, really like having the 13 and a half inch barrel as a pistol. You can go and easily and quickly change this over to a, an SBR by just getting your tax stamp on it. Something easy to do if you're looking to make this into a short barreled rifle. Now for my question of the day, with the IWI Galil Ace 2, they only have three calibers for their pistols. They have the 7.62x39, the 5.45x39, and the 5.56. My question for you guys is, with the 13 or the 8 inch barrel, which pistol would you guys want in your Galil Ace? Let me know in the comments down below. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying the content and you guys want to be tuned in for our full review, which will have all of the specs, more shooting and distances, guys, be sure to subscribe, hit that like icon and that bell so you guys are notified every time we put out a new video. Make sure you guys go and check out our Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, all of our social media so you guys are notified every time we put out new content. We're trying to do more shorts, so if you guys want to see us doing a little short on this, this and all the other cool guns that we've been working on today make sure you're subscribed i'll see you in the next video peace